Hello, I'm Michael Reddy, Dean of UCSF School of Dentistry. I'm proud to be part of the trailblazing community that is UC San Francisco, a community that is advancing health and leading change in our city, in California, and throughout the world. At UCSF School of Dentistry, we are looking boldly to the future to carry forward our missions of research, education, patient care, and public service. The last few years have been particularly turbulent for our society. The twin pandemics of COVID-19 and racism remind us of the inequities that persist in our society. We have also witnessed rollbacks in human rights and growing polarization in our country. Meanwhile, climate change continues to pose serious threats to our health. But as history reminds us, times of stress can be harnessed to bring about positive transformation. They lead to a sense of urgency for us to think differently about the future, to move forward creatively and achieve more. We are facing down tough problems and working together to develop advances that make the world a better place. Take, for example, our research mission. In the lab, in the clinics, and in the community, our researchers are making strides every day to better understand how oral and cranial facial conditions impact our vitality and longevity. There are many mysteries that remain to be solved, and it is our curious, tenacious, and brilliant researchers who hold the keys to unlocking them. They are the foundation that propels UCSF School of Dentistry to number one among dental schools in funding from the National Institutes of Health, a position we've proudly held for a quarter of a century. This pursuit of new knowledge is a constant here at UCSF Dentistry, and it is what helps us continually advance not just oral health, but health overall. So there's a major need right now to sort of develop new approaches to understanding human physiology. Because we know that when we take cells from a human and put them inside of a dish, those cells do not behave as they do in a human. We know that the physiology of a mouse doesn't accurately recapitulate what we see in a human as well. And this is why so many drugs are failing in the clinic when we start to take them from, you know, this proof of discovery phase to, you know, clinical trials and clinical applications. And so where we step in to help address this gap and this critical need is through the development of these technologies that we like to call human organs on chips. And what we're finding is that this additional step forward, the, the, the application of this organ on chip technology is now taking cells and pushing them into a state that's even closer to what we see inside of the body. And right now we're applying these technologies to understand uh, events that are associated with the early breakdown of tissue structure and oral cancer. We're using it to model human infectious disease and then we're using it for fundamental uh, discovery when it comes to the development of various organs like the human breast. And recently we've identified a novel complex of proteins that sits at the surface of endothelial cells. Now these are the cells that line uh, the inner lining of our blood vessels, compose the inner lining of our blood vessels. We found that by targeting this protein complex we can make a blood vessel turn from leaky to tight or from tight to leaky. Now, right now, there are no clinical therapeutics that exist on the market to target the barrier function, if you will, the leakiness of a blood vessel. There's a strong need for that right now. And so while we're sort of focused on identifying and validating some of these initial targets, our next steps are working with some of the clinicians here that are present at UCSF to see if we can take it to that next step of validation inside of a living system our department here in the School of Dentistry, the Department of Cell and Tissue Biology, is very unique and diverse in its approaches to sort of basic research and fundamental cell biology. We have people inside of our department that are studying RNA processing, that are studying the development of human organs like the salivary gland, that are also applying these same approaches to understand fundamental questions associated with human cancers. Some of the most effective therapeutics that we have on the market, chemotherapeutics, targeted therapeutics, are those that target mechanisms that operate inside of our cells that are fundamental to how a cell sees its environment or how a cell moves, right? And so that's why it's so important to understand these basic mechanisms. 
I think for as much as we know about how a cell works or how a tissue forms or as much as we think we know about how a cell works or how a tissue forms, we know very little. We're discovering new things every day. At UCSF Dentistry, we see oral health as more than just the public perception of cleaning teeth and filling cavities. Those are important for good health, of course, but there's more to the story. Our mouth is like a canary in a coal mine, alerting us of our overall health and wellness. Oftentimes, the earliest signs of systemic diseases are found in the mouth. This is why UCSF is bringing oral health care together with medicine, pharmacy, nursing, and other health professions to treat the whole patient. Thanks to our partnership with UCSF Health and support from our colleagues across the university, we have made great strides in achieving our vision for a fully integrated approach to healthcare delivery. In December 2022, UCSF Dentistry moved on to a common electronic health record with UCSF Health. This put the patient's healthcare information in one place that is easy for them and their entire healthcare team to access. In the future, this connection will enhance our ability to use data-driven techniques to make diagnoses and treatments more predictive, precise, and personalized. Ultimately, we will achieve better outcomes for patients. Healthcare education, as well as health science research, will be similarly transformed through the inextricable linkages between oral health and overall health. In science and in clinical care, the mouth is a really important reflection of what our overall health is like. And it's oftentimes the first place that we might see illness show up. We know that when there's gum disease or there's poor oral health, you can have bacterial conditions that can lead to other chronic illnesses like cardiovascular disease. There are multiple diseases that we can see through the oral cavity. Diabetes is one of them. In fact, many immune-related diseases we can see. So oral cancers perturb your oral system, obviously. You do not know about these cancers for an extremely long time. We find that patients come in very late, and this leads to repercussions of disease management. It's important for healthcare professionals to come together to um, take care of patients in a holistic way because patients aren't different pieces. They're not different diseases. And uh, the complexity of human beings um, requires that we have expertise to take care of their problems, but that we do it in sort of a choreographed, coordinated way. This integration of oral health, I think, will actually allow us to do many of the things that are the most important parts of our mission. They are delivering the best quality care that we can for our patients with the highest standards. I think it also allows us to think about the research that's possible. So these diseases, these systemic diseases, we can see them through the oral cavity. We can see them through saliva diagnostics. So can we pull from the saliva? Can we pull from understanding the disease impact on the oral cavity, will that tell us more about that systemic disorder? These are the questions that we're trying to answer at UCSF. So the School of Dentistry is embarking on um, transforming their curriculum. And so with the introduction of the new medical record or the adoption of the medical record system, it's a perfect time to integrate that um, into the curriculum as you're training the students. And it will also be an opportunity to look and see, well, how can we integrate some of the other health professions, uh, whether it's in the classroom or in the actual experiential space, to bring everybody together and have a way for students to interact with not only a healthcare record, but also with other healthcare professionals. One of the most important things that I see as a primary care clinician is that when we are able to connect across specialties and across disciplines to really take care of the whole person, having that kind of coordination, having close proximity and collaboration among specialists really matters a great deal. It just, it's better care. We know that there are deeply embedded healthcare disparities in our society, especially in Black, Latinx, and Native communities. Health disparities persist along other dimensions as well. For example, those with disabilities or special health care needs 
face stigma and often struggle to get equitable access to care. Our impact in pursuing more equitable health care starts with ourselves. We believe strongly that diversity, equity, inclusion, and more importantly, a genuine sense of belonging are integral for creating a positive and innovative community at UCSF, a community where everyone can thrive. UCSF's anti-racism initiative and our school's own reckoning on race are reshaping what and how we teach, how we recruit learners, faculty, and staff, and what we support and embrace as an institution. Last year, our school created the Dean's Diversity Fund to support the recruitment and retention of faculty whose racial and ethnic backgrounds are historically underrepresented in health and health sciences. We are also embarking on a major re-envisioning of our dental education curriculum to ensure that UCSF trained dentists have the skills they need to provide excellent care to an increasingly diverse population. We continue to provide safety net care throughout our dental clinics, and we are proud to be the largest provider of oral health care services to California's Medicaid population. Our learners can passionately serve marginalized communities throughout the Bay Area, California, and beyond. So one of the biggest disparities that we see is access to care and access to best practices. The vulnerable populations, the immigrants, refugees, low-income populations, they really aren't getting access and regular access to even the, the basic uh, interventions that we know really can make a huge difference in uh, oral health quality of life. One of the challenges that we see is the distribution of dental providers. We have a lot of areas, especially rural areas, where there are no dental providers available. And if there are dental providers, they may not take Medi-Cal Dental and uh, public insurance program. UCSF works on coming up with creative ways to increase access to care for these rural communities and other areas that do not have lot of dental providers. One of the programs that we have is a virtual dental home where we partner with uh, local dental providers like a registered dental hygienist and alternative practice who can do the screenings and some of the basic treatments. And we also bring a lot of our dental students and our dental residents out to different communities to increase access to care that way as well. UCSF in particular is collaborating to actually bridge that gap uh, so that you know the care, oral health care, is more equitable to the underserved population. Community-based clinical education is a program for our third and final year students. Our final year students actually uh, get to go uh, into the communities, underserved communities, and actually go through a rotation of six weeks. So I think uh, we are making um, our students more well-rounded by doing this, so when they get out, um, you know, when they actually graduate from school, they have many opportunities. They really uh, get a good flavor of a dental public health to get out and hopefully help these populations, uh, you know, when they graduate from here. When I came to dental school at UCSF, I realized I also had a passion for public health. I decided to become a faculty in pediatric dentistry because I felt that I could make the greatest impact in reducing disparities in children's oral health and reducing access to care issues by training other dentists to provide care to children from underserved backgrounds. Dental caries is the most common chronic disease of children uh, in the United States. This is especially prevalent in patients with special health care needs. Children with Autism Spectrum Disorder is a large group of patients with special health care needs that we're able to serve at UCSF Pediatric Dentistry. We have a special clinic where we work with a board certified behavioral analyst at our dental visits to support children with autism spectrum disorder to help them to gain the skills that they need to go to the dentist. A lot of times when I meet families and, uh, and parents of children with special health care needs, they have been looking for a dentist for a long time and they have not been able to find anybody who was comfortable or willing to treat their child. Our coursework in pediatric dentistry we've revised so that we can better train third and fourth year dental students to feel prepared and confident in providing care to patients with special health care needs when they graduate from dental school. 
That way, when these dentists go out into their own communities, they're comfortable providing care to patients with special health care needs. This will increase access to care for these patients and help to support health equity so that these patients are able to re receive routine dental care in their own community, just like everybody else. Thank you for learning more about the innovative work happening at UCSF Dentistry. Our faculty, learners, and staff are meeting the demands of our times. Through their drive and the strength of our alumni network and visionary support from donors, we are evolving boldly into the future, just as we have done over the course of our 140-year history of pioneering impact. At UCSF, we are ushering in a new era of integrated healthcare and using science and discovery as a roadmap to better health in the future. We are committed to transforming dental education to meet the future needs of the dental profession. And we will proudly continue our role as an anchor institution and strong community partner to the Bay Area and beyond. I hope you will continue to follow our progress. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and take care.